All right, welcome back to some more Portal 2. Unfortunately, in the last episode, I wasted way too much time with a puzzle that was really easy. I was just way overthinking it. Um, but now we are making our way up this tower, it seems. What are we going to find up here? I think it says Alpha on that door. Okay, I just made a portal. Zoom. Uh, oh yeah, there's a wall. <laughs> I was like, where's the wall? Okay. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Going to be cold. Going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Hmm. Don't tell me it's another, like, super hard test that I won't be able to figure out. <laughs> Uh, let's zoom in, I guess. Is there any place where we can make a teleporter? It kind of looks like another one of those things where we're going to have to use this as a launch pad. This can't be right. No, no! <laughs> Barely saved myself. Wait, let's try going back. Maybe we missed something. Is there something on the ground that we can use? Yeah, let's go back up. I mean, I know there's a launch pad over there, like... Oh, maybe we're supposed to go in here and then fall... Yep, that's what we're supposed to do. Zoom! Yeah! <laughs> Super jump. Alright. These puzzles are getting really challenging. Pump station alpha. Ah, oh, the door doesn't open. Okay, I guess we're going down. But we turned on the pump. Wait, why did we turn on the pump? Gel flow. We're testing, the, yeah, okay, we're testing the gel, apparently. Hmm. Oh, we're supposed to go up there. Alright, there we go. Alright, done. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Amateur, we do all our science from scratch. No handholding. Okay. <sighs> I feel like from here on out the game is just going to be ridiculously difficult. 
Where are we? All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. You have not received one. Or so I'm told. Please find a test associate before participating in any Shape 09 enrichment activities. After science, portable quantum tunneling device. Repulsion gel. It's true, the gel is sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass ins insulation that causes sub subsequent I can't say that. Subsequent ah. Subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from our shelves. Okay. So this is a bounce pad. <laughs> Hooray! So this must be like the original, like, like the old first test site ever made. Interesting. So I need to jump over here. Wee, wee. <laughs> Just a trampoline. All right, where's the cube? The companion cube. Hello, companion cube. me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> Next test chamber this way. Man, this is a very uh, crude system. Wait a minute. An office? Okay, wrong way. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is this is crazy. Okay, so I need to get that companion cube, or whatever you call it, cube. I need to get more height. Okay, I got a little bit more height there. There's no areas to place any portals. Hmm. Okay, so these po- oh! Okay. I'm stupid. Okay, this is what we need. We need to bring it over there. There we go, now we have enough jump height. There we go. Oh, what is this? There's stuff on the wall now? Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we need to go back.
Wee. <laughs> this is just like a playground. They should have a lot of. They should, they should just bring in a bunch of kids to, to come play test everything. Wait, what did that do? I'm not exactly sure what that button did. Oh wait, there's a little wire. It's going somewhere. Oh, it's going up there. Boing. Boing. Oh. I need to get speed. Ah. I need to just run, like, forward and not stop. You lose all your momentum. There we go. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> Set on the wall in 1953. Very old. Aperture Science Innovators. Okay. This is interesting. It's very uh challenging though. All these single puzzles. Are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator and it makes a happy face. <laughs> Alright, um... Alright, I don't even know where we're supposed to be going. Do not lean on railing. Something to do with... oh. There we go. Uh, I did not have to do that, but <laughs> whatever. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Beam counter said I couldn't fire a man just for in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. <laughs> I'm covered in slime. Awesome! They're paint blobs! Sweet! I could paint this whole room if I wanted to. There must be a way to get, like, increased jump height. Oh, never mind, right here. There we go. <laughs> this whole facility is just broken. Uh, so that's the exit. So I need to go over there. All 
Alright, so I need to get a running jump, and there we go. Bounce. Let me get some paint over here. Perfect. There we go. We catapulted some paint across. Um, huh. <laughs> we have just a paint launcher. Oh, now we have to launch ourselves across with the portal, I think. Here goes nothing. Cheap and a lot. Minute, so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of wanting to get out of this place just because these puzzles are a little bit more complicated. Now that we're using bounce pads and paint and this factory is broken. This water? Uh... I wonder what happens if we put, like... Oh wait, never mind, that wouldn't work. Oh yeah, it would work. Okay, watch this. Oh wait. Okay, you see how the blob is gonna fall down here? Watch, I'm gonna make another portal here. Ready? Aw, oh, too late. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, anyways, <laughs> let's get back to this portal. Or to this, uh... Not portal, to this, uh, puzzle. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so we need to bring some paint over this side. There we go. Or at least I think we do. And then we need to use a portal. Oops, oops, wrong way. Oh no. I thought we could use that to jump across, but... I think we're gonna have to somehow get up there, maybe. Whoa, now we're bouncing back and forth. Oh, there's a portal, okay. I mean, there's a button up there. I don't know why I keep saying portal. We gotta use this button here. There we go. What did that activate? Oh, that removed the, uh... Oh, crap. Crap. Uh... Okay, so I need to find a way to launch myself from here all the way to the other side. Um, so I think what I would have to do is I would have to make a portal here and then change it once I get enough speed. Uh, this is harder than it looks, okay. And then I have to, okay. No, I have to go through. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that was a mess up. 
Let's try that again. All right, let's just jump back and forth and then ready. Now there's a key. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the blob. So now there's, oh, then I jump up. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was overthinking it a little bit. This next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Time travel? It'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. All right, so there's a, a splatter on the wall. Oh, I see. Whoa. How's there... How did I get up here? <laughs> oh, whenever... I don't, I don't even know, whatever. Hooray. So I suppose this is the beginning of Aperture Science. Accidents hurt. You, you will be hurt. Coworkers, don't endanger others. The company, replacements are costly. Science, investigators, pin progress. Safety first. All right. All right, so there needs to be a portal there. Wait, why would that be a panel? Oh, maybe it's a reset if we mess up. Zoom. I don't even think we're supposed to be up here. <laughs> oh no, not another one of these. I don't like these open area, like, puzzles because it just seems so vague to me like I'm not really understanding what we're supposed to be doing even oh I'm supposed to bring the paint back See, all these puzzles require so much thinking. Or maybe water. No, we need to get the paint. So I need to go back in here, I think. Make a portal there. Oh, no, we can't make a portal there. But we can make a portal here. There we go. Alright, that should be plenty. Alright, jump down here and then we launch back across. Yep, there we go. I mean, a lot of these puzzles, they're not hard. It, it just, if you don't know how to solve them, like, to begin with, then you have to, like, really think outside the box, and it takes a while.
All right, so I'm just gonna cover the entire ground with uh, this bounce stuff. Because it seems like we're gonna need it. We need to get all the way over there. Kind of reminds me of Mario Sunshine or Splatoon. All right, so we made it over here. So now where? Need to somehow open the cube. Oh, there's the exit. Okay, so we have to get to the exit. But how do we open the cube? Oh, wait, maybe right here. Oh, breaking out! <laughs> that was cool. And now it's just bouncing all over the place. Okay, so I need to wash it off in the water. There we go. Look at that fountain. That's awesome. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. The fountain of goo. <laughs> okay, anyways. Alright, made it, and now we need to get some goo over there. Need to splatter it with some goo. How is none of it coming back down where I want it to go? There we go. Oh, we could have just put it on the ceiling. Oh well. Science is about why. It's about why not? Why, why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not merely say science that loves us so much? much? In, In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, <laughs> you, box, you're stopped. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end of this. <sighs> these <laughs> these puzzles, they are they are something else. Yeah, this looks like the end. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO Excellent. of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> okay, uh... How do I leave? And why is there a wall here? Oh, crap. Not again. Oh. Pump station beta. Man, this game does not follow any rules of game design. <laughs> and it's kind of like this, like Stanley's parable. You don't really have any idea where you're supposed to go. How do I get up there? Oh, wait, there's another wall on the other side. Okay, once again we are stuck a little bit. Try this again.
like I, I understand what we're doing, but at the same time, I don't understand how to solve it. I'm supposed to launch myself from that platform over here. The question is, how do I get over there if there's this like window blocking my path? Maybe I can break it. <laughs> I don't think we were supposed to do this. Gel flow. Like, how are we supposed to get up there with only one portal? Unless there's, unless we're supposed to activate the gel or break the gel out. All right, let's go back up there. We'll have to look around. Oops. Curse you puzzles. Why are you so complicated? No, it doesn't look like there's any levers or anything. No, I'd be able to see them if there was. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm sure it's probably really easy. Like, once I figure it out, it's gonna be like, oh, wow, that was the easiest thing ever. But at this moment in time, I am struggling. Oh, I know how to do this. It's just one of those, you have to bounce back and forth, okay. Like you bounce here, and then you shoot a portal up there, and then you jump across. Alright, that was easy. <sighs> I was way overthinking things. I don't know, I might just be tired. <laughs> I should have easily been able to solve that one. I I'm getting like all flustered with all the different like new mechanics with the bounce paths and all the other stuff. It's getting nuts. Alright, so we activated those. I guess we're starting that machine down there, whatever that is. Control room. Alright, so... I think I'm just going to end this episode here since this video is getting kind of long. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for some more Portal 2.